Today I'm going to be going over some more features of the Taser. We're going to be talking about security features and how you can use the Taser to actually enable a security pin so that you have to hit a certain combination on your steering wheel in order for the car to run. Now there's also an interesting mode called the car jack mode. So with car jack mode, basically if you get out of your car with the key fob while it's running and somebody gets in the car or just starts moving you don't have the key fob in your pocket and it's going to give you a countdown and if you don't enter that pin within a certain time frame it kills the gas pedal starts shutting the car down basically so if you're ever carjacked and you know you have the key fob on you they're not going to be able to get very far but the hope is that it buys enough time and somebody panics and they're not able to get away with your car so i still think it's a great feature there's nothing that's foolproof these days because every time you turn around these thieves are getting smarter and smarter with how they go about trying to steal your car but this key pin is going to be pretty helpful because if somebody tries to program a key on your car it's also going to trigger it so that you have to enter a pin in order for you to even program a key let me go around this trunk So it's a lot of helpful features and I'm looking forward to going ahead covering this. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, so to set the pin lock, we're gonna need to enter the live menu, which means that the car needs to be running. So go ahead and start it up. And then from here, we're gonna use the left menu button and cancel to cycle through. So security pin, we're gonna use the middle button right here to go ahead and enter set pin yes now use plus minus basically these buttons over here we're going to use so i'm just going to do something simple one one two two so plus plus minus minus then enter so now i'm going to go back into security pin hit this clear pin no we want to cycle through we're going to turn that on and I'll tell you what all this means in a second. Kill pedal now. You can see the pedal's off, so we're gonna, you see it just shut it down, pedal on. Pin brakes, on. Pin horn, we're gonna leave that off just because I don't want the neighbors to go crazy. Pin lights, on. Basically, that's going to make the lights go crazy. They're going to go into a light show mode if the pin isn't entered. Pin pedal off. Uh, turn that on. Kill by fob. Turn that on. Car jack is off. We're going to turn that on. Pin clear 60 minutes that's fine and so that's it so now it's actually set so we're going to go ahead and turn the car off and let me go ahead and run through these menu settings to the things that i just did so kill pedal now it's a high security parking mode which will disable the gas pedal until the next time the pin is entered pin brakes is going to toggle whether triggering the pin lock will also lock all four brakes when the vehicle is stopped so if they start moving and then they stop, it's gonna lock up all the brakes. Pin horn is gonna basically, when the pin lock triggers, it's gonna honk the horn in a randomized pattern. So it's, you know, kind of just like an alarm. Pin lights, like I said, it's gonna start a light show. Pin pedal is gonna to toggle whether triggering the pin lock or vehicle alarm or an attempt to pair a key will disable the gas pedal. That'll function whether the pin is enabled or disabled 
kill by fob toggle whether locking the vehicle from the fob will disable the gas pedal it's a carjack mode we're going to get into that uh, but basically it's going to trigger when the key exits a running vehicle it's going to require that a pin is entered when you get back in it if not it's going to shut the car down and we'll demonstrate that pin clear time it just determines how long it's going to take to clear a forgotten pin using the process described below so if you forget your pin there is a way to go ahead and clear it but you can set the time that it's going to take all right so now that we have the pin set let's go ahead and see what happens when we try to start the car all right so the car started but you see the lights are flashing inner pin i got 30 some seconds to do it so plus plus minus minus pin unlocked and so that's basically how the pin works if i didn't enter the pin on time then it would just go ahead and pretty much kill everything so that's what we're going to do next i'm going to show you guys what happens when you don't enter the pin and we'll also test out carjack mode all right guys so now we're going to test out what happens if you don't enter the pin so we'll go ahead and start it up and we have the countdown going and the first thing i'm going to show is what happens when you're inside the car so as you can see it's counting down Throttle controls disabled. Brakes engaged, pin locked. And then Drake comes on. <laughs> no, Drake doesn't come on. It's just showing. It's just showing uh, the audio still. So now on the outside, we should be seeing the light show going off here. Let me just check. Yeah, you can see the light show is going off now. lights are going crazy the horn would also be going off right now but like i said i have it disabled just so i'm not drawing a bunch of attention out here all right so now i'm gonna come in here and i'm gonna enter the pin plus plus minus minus and i will be changing that just in case you guys are curious about it pin unlocked the car also shut off so basically I'll have to start it again and we'll go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to demonstrate carjack mode real quick. So the thinking behind carjack mode is basically somebody runs up on you. You have your keys in your pocket. You get out of the car. They take off in the car. So basically I'm just going to set the keys outside of the car. All right, boom. So now I'm in the car key fob has left the vehicle and so it's going to trigger once you start driving so we're just going to pull up a couple of feet here right there as you can see so it's kind of letting you know already hey you need to enter you need to enter the uh code or it's going to shut the car down so we're driving boom so as you saw right now you just heard the brakes go off the gas pedal was also killed so i'm stepping on the gas nothing's happening the brakes are locked up i put it in park mode now and basically the light show is probably going off as well yeah so the light show's going off the brakes locked up the accelerator was killed so whoever just took your car pretty much sol they probably have no idea what's going on <laughs> they're like what in the world so that i really like that feature that's that's pretty nice to have so let's go ahead up up down down boom pin unlocked car shuts off again and we're gonna have to start her back up 
and we're back in business pin unlocked so carjack mode i really like having to enter a pin every time you start the car you know it it's one of those things some people may not want to deal with it whatever you can disable it pretty quickly um, you can have just car jack mode enabled if you want to so you don't have to have the pin enabled full time and you know like i showed you can control what actually happens when the pin is not entered so you don't have to have the brakes killed and the gas pedal killed and the light show and the horn you can run through your different options and select whatever works for you anyways guys that pretty much does it for today's video if you like it go ahead and hit that like button i thought it was a pretty cool feature again you know when you're talking about securing your car you're going to want to have multiple things going on you're not going to just rely on the taser you're not just going to rely on things like i think it's called car lock they have different gps things out there that'll help track the car um you know you you want to do a multitude of different things to kind of help prevent your car from being stolen so so anyways that does it for me guys until the next video Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. Give the video a like, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.